Hey guys, Earl here with my own savory kitchen with the savory butcher. I am doing a different type of video today because I've got a selfie stick. Now I've never used one, so this is a new experience for me, but I've got it set up on my counter and the only reason I'm popping in here today is to tell you about our sockeye salmon. I know you probably saw my unboxing video, but let me tell you, I am so excited about this stuff. This one right here, this is gonna be my lunch today. I'm actually gonna put it on foil out on my barbecue. I'm gonna cover it with brown sugar, honey, and butter, and I'm gonna let it slow cook and let all those flavors just seep right in there. Then I'm gonna do a quick flash on it. Ta-da, done. But I've got a whole case of the Savory Butcher Sockeye Salmon. I'm from Alaska, and what a lot of people don't realize is sockeye is some of the best smoking salmon you can possibly get, the rich flavors. So look what I got here. Oh yeah, this is what you get when you order Savory Butcher Sockeye Salmon. All these individual fillets. Well guess what, those are just about perfect for you guys. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put them in a brine tonight. I'm gonna use a little bit of soy sauce, some brown sugar, some salt, some white sugar. Might even add a little bit of apple juice. I'm gonna let it brine tonight and I'm gonna put them in my smoker tomorrow over low. I'm gonna let the smoke build up. I'm gonna use only fruit wood. Apple, peach, cherry, plum, apricot. We live out here in Washington, so there's a ton of orchards, so I'm able to go out and get some pretty cool fruit wood. But if you don't, you can actually get it from your hardware store. It's become a pretty big industry getting that kind of wood. But I'm so excited about this salmon, and I just wanted to tell you about it because I know Cassie put it up, my partner, that we are now offering it. If you don't get yours, you already know what happens. It goes, it's gone, you have to wait for the next delivery. So I was talking to you earlier about some of this awesome sockeye salmon that we got. And as promised, I'm gonna show you exactly how I make my marinade for the salmon. So you're gonna see several videos as we go along. And tomorrow, tomorrow evening sometime, you're gonna see the finished product, which is fruit wood smoked sockeye salmon. So we're gonna start with four cups of water. We're gonna go two cups of soy sauce. That in there. Then I'm gonna add a full cup of brown sugar and half a cup of salt. And you guys know me, I like my spice, so here's some garlic chili paste. We'll get that kind of stirred in, that'll rinse that out. All I'm gonna do is whisk this together for a couple seconds, get this going. You can kind of see down in the bowl how she looks, and you can smell that garlic chili in there. Oh man, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna put my salmon in. This is gonna marinate overnight. I'm gonna leave it in here overnight. And then when it gets done, I'm gonna give it a quick rinse. I'm gonna set it up on the counter on some racks. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. And it gets what's called a pellicle glaze on it where the sugars and the salts draw the moisture to the surface. And then as it dries, it gets kind of a sheen to it. It's called a pellicle glaze. But just like that, we've got Salmon marinating. Okay, so the last couple days you've seen me doing some stuff with sockeye salmon. I've got the smoker going. I've got my sockeye all brined, ready to rock and roll. And I've been sitting there watching my smoker waiting for it to get just the right amount of smoke. Now, I only used apple wood. I only used fruit wood when I smoke. That's the way you can control it without getting too much smoke and it creates a sweet flavor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk outside here and we're gonna throw these on one of my new smokers. I've got several different smokers that I use, but I've got these, it's got the perfect pellicle glaze on it. I've got my smoker rolling out here, and it's a new one. I kinda of bought one of these um, combination barbecues. So it's got, a, it's a pit boss. So it's got charcoal on this side, it's got natural gas on this side, and down here is a smoker. So you can see the smoke starting to come out right there. We're going to slide these in. We're going to close this up. Now, my temperature right now is just a bit too high. So I'm going to change my temperature. I wanted to get the smoke rolling first. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to turn this. And I'm going to bring my temp down to probably 180. I'm going to let it sit there at 180. I'm going to open up this vent right here. I'm going to get a little smoke coming out on this. And actually, if you look behind my barbecue right now, you can... See the smoke's already coming out. So this is gonna be some good sockeye salmon, you guys. So I'm excited about it. I'm gonna check back in with you here in just a little bit. It is the end of the sockeye saga. We just finished our smoked sockeye, 
from Savory Butcher, and you might see a little piece that's kind of missing some parts. I've been nibbling. It's delicious. Anyway, I've already packaged a couple up here. I put them in vacuum seal bags, and this is why. Smoked salmon is amazing in pastas. You can take this at any given time. You're making a pasta. Crumble it up in your Alfredo sauce. Blow your friends' minds. They're going to be like, wow, where did you do that? Now, I did this a little different than I do some of them. You can actually smoke this sockeye for, say, eight hours. These type of pieces like this. As long as you keep your temperature down around 140 degrees. You're trying to get to an internal temperature of 145. So what I did is I smoked it over, app, over apple wood for about... Oh, two, three hours, but I gradually increased my temperature starting at 160. I maintained at 180 for just a little bit, and then I topped out at, at 200. So I still got great smoke on it, and you can see if you look inside here, when I break this open, it's still very moist, delicious, and look at that beautiful color. But what we're going to do right now is this is this, this is Savory Butcher. We're going to eat some. So I'm going to take some regular old cream cheese, and I got these jalapeno, um, gosh, what are these, like focaccia bread. I'm going to take and put some cream cheese on it. Bam! We're going to start off with some smoked salmon. We're just going to crumble this right on here. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to mix a couple capers in here. And I kind of like the large capers, you guys. Some people like the small ones. I like the large ones. But I'm going to put some smoked salmon on there. Then we're going to throw some shallots on it and then some Roma tomatoes now I couldn't find any heirloom tomatoes for tonight but I sell my Roma so these are pretty good just like that but look at this now this is a healthy snack you guys hey I'm Earl Adams with Savory Butcher this is the Sockeye Saga we're finishing it up and I get to eat now we'll see you next time here at Savory Butcher thanks for watching